Git News Patrol. I am Joan Aguirre, reporting. Distribution management. Distribution management refers to overseeing the movement of food from supplier or manufacturer to the point of sales. It involves distributors who distribute products and services. There are four major functions of distributors. The first one, they always set a territorial sales plan and strategy. The second one, they control and monitor execution. The third one, they build an organization capabilities of the distributor partner. And the last one, they consistently attaining their share goes to their core values. Goldilocks snack cake. Iba kasi. Fluffy. Double flavors. And my caramel inside. Mm -hmm. I have to share this setup with them. Oh, my happy boss of you. Yan ang effect ng Goldilocks snack cake. Logistics. Logistics is a process where in manufacturer distributor and supplier stack and move product to their supply chain and to their customers. So logistics is used for quality to refer to the process of coordinating and moving resources such as people, materials, and inventory and equipment from one location to storage at the desired destination. To discuss the three main functions of the logistics, here are Ms. Joanne Aguirre, CJ Monticillo, and Patty Gamayo. Thank you, Ms. Kimberly Nabara. We are here to report about the three major functions of logistics. Um, the first one is warehouse management. Warehouse management is the facility where the supply chain is called and store goods until they needed by the customer. Warehouse can be owned by manufacturer, retailer, and the sale to store goods. And it involves third party logistics, link in management, flow through techniques, transportation integration and warehouse management system techniques. The second one is the logistics performance measurement. Reduce operating costs, drive their revenue growth, and enhance their shareholder value. It involves the analytical marketing team, administration management, track in place, and visibility. And the last one is transportation management. It's a subset of supply chain management that deals with planning, execution, and optimization of the physical movement of goods. It involves audit payments and claims, fit and 3PL management, routing tracking optimization, regulation security compliance, and transportation management security techniques. And here is Nicole and Hazel reporting logistic activities. We are here to discuss the logistic functions activities Logistics is the process of movements of goods across the supply chain of company. This process consists of function that has to be properly managed to bring effectiveness and efficiency to the supply chain of the company. So the first activities of logistics is order management. It's an important task in logistic operations. The purchase order placed by a buyer to supply is an important legal document of the transaction between the two parties. The second one is the production of procurement. The process of finding agreement terms acquiring goods, services, or works for an external source of often a via tendering or competitive binding process. The third one is the freight cost and service management. As part of the transportation, costs continue to rise one, one year. Manufacturer, wholesaler, retailer, is in any other organization that are passed of supply chain must think smarter about down the cost of moving goods from A to B. The fourth one is the warehouse management. It's a storing of finished goods until they are sold. It plays is a virtual role in the logistic operations of a peer. The fifth one is transportation, moving, and scheduling. It is a movement of goods from the supplier to the buyer. Transportation is the most fundamental and important component of logistics. The 
sixth one is fleet management. It allows a company's management and dispatchers to track all vehicles from a central location. Seventh one is the load planning. Load planning has a great impact on the cost of transportation for the client and also for the transporter it is, has an impact on their transit time. Last one is special function or reverse logistics. It is a process of planning, implementing and controlling the efficient, cost-effective flow of materials in processing vendor. Here is Ms. Gladys Minasol to report the supply chain management. Thank So these are the examples of supply chain cycle. Raw materials, producer, distributors, retailer, and customer. So there are three types of supply chain. The information, the physical, and lastly, the cash. The strategies of supply chain. There are three types of strategies. The first one is stable, is focusing on execution, efficiencies, cost performance. The example of this is table salt production. The second one is reactive, works well when a chain to demand, full demand demand from trade and lastly efficient reactive focuses efficiency and cost management of finished good example supermarket distribution centers logistic provides manufacturers and they con concentrate through the place of the goods shops thank you Ms. Venus now we are here to report the six strategic competencies I will report the first three strategic competency, the customer management, supplier management, and the channel alignment. And I will report the remaining three strategic competencies, which are the collaboration, operation excellence, and the integrated technology. Customer management. Customer management system are also known as customer relationship management is used to capture, research, and analyze information such as customer behavior, buying preferences, and demographics. Under customer management are superior service, convenient solution, and customization. Superior service is more than solving customers' problems and exceeding beyond the customer expectation, and knowing the businesses and product as well. Convenient solution is provided by the management to give the customers good service and helping them with the issues they might face in the future. Customization is your relationship with your customers. It is how you bond with them, communicate with them, and how you greet them once you see them. Second is supplier management. Supplier management is a broad term and it has become ever broader in its evolution from a past contract area to include also strategy and planning and other pre-contract activities. In other words, supplier management has become supplier life cycle management. Under supplier management are strategic sourcing. Strategic sourcing is an institutional procurement process that continuously improves and re-evaluates the purchasing activities of a company. In the service industry, strategic sourcing refers to the service solution, sometimes called a strategic partnership, which is specifically customized to meet the client's individual needs. In a production environment, it is often considered one component of supply chain management. Supplier Management Technologies Toolset Master Control has electronic supplier management tools as part of an integrated quality management process. The third is integrated procurement infrastructure. Accordingly, the procurement process for the delivery of infrastructure involves the initial and subsequent recurring updating and planning processes of a portfolio level flowing out of an assessment and public sector service delivery requirements or business needs. Third is channel alignment. Channel alignment is a connection web. 
from manufacturer to indirect company sales force to distributor going to the dealers and B2B consumers and wholesaler to retailer to B2C consumers. It can also be from manufacturer directly to B2B consumer. The fourth one is collaboration. It is the opportunity to enhance customer service, reduce empty miles, and save billions of dollars in industry supply chain caused by embracing collaborative distribution. The fifth one is operational excellence. It is the attainment of efficient, effective, and reliable operation to achieve optimal profitability for the process. The sixth one, or the last one, is the integrated technologies. Integration of individual technological processes in their inputs and outputs, integration of technology in other business processes, or integration of market, demands to technological capabilities, etc. All these processes require building up a functional technology infrastructure network. This technology infrastructure should be designed to run production as well as other businesses processes, including data centers that enable ICT to use as a platform upon which business decisions are made. Purposeful technological infrastructure should be a functional part of an organizational structure, especially as regards to the distribution of technological competence information and responsibilities among business departments. Kung minsan ay hinahanap pa ang alaala ng iyong ngiti Inaamin ko na kay tagal pa bago Malilimutan ito Kahirap nang maulit muli Ang naiwan nating of level distribution. First is functional performance, grouping of individuals on the basis of the function each performs in the organization such as accounting, marketing, and manufacturing. Second is reduce the complexity, helps companies simplify their strategy, organization, products, process, and information technology. And the third is service channel. At Service Channel, it is our mission to set a new standard for facilities, management, and streamlining operations and increasing transparency across the entire program as essential for success. And we have the under of Service Channel, Broker and Agent. Broker, the person who serves as a trusted agent in commercial negotiations or transactions. Brokers are usually licensed professionals in fields where specialized knowledge is required such as finance, insurance, and real estate. And going to report 
word about agent. Agent is a person who acts on behalf of another person or a group. There are three important metrics of logistics performance. First, logistics productivity. Provides a critique of the present state of the art of the productivity and performance measurement and management in logistics. Second, the logistic service performance. It is logistics service providers are important actors for creating logistics performance in supply chains. And for the last, the logistics performance measurement system. A logistics performance management is the key to quantifying the current state and improvement potential within logistics. And for the logistics performance, we have seven operating objectives. First, the service. Second, pass flow response. Third, reduction of operating variances. Fourth, minimum inventories. Fifth, transportation production. Sixth, quality management. And for the last, the product life cycle support. And I am Machu Gimayo, reporting. 我是格拉迪斯纳索尔,这是埃尔特纽斯帕特罗尔。感谢您的收看。